Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we're off on another exciting adventure. It's road trip time. It is road trip time. Oops. John should be at work where everybody else is right now, Me. but he's not. Nope. We're sneaking off on a little road trip. I think we should keep a secret where we're going. Yeah, sure. Uh, until we show it to you. Well. Oh. Yeah, until we show it to you. We've got a couple of stops along the way, but... Yep. But we are heading up north of us about three hours, yeah. three and a half hours. It is hot as it wants to be out here. It looks like we're going to be getting some rain. We are going to be doing some camping, we'll tell you that. Um, it's an, a unique Airbnb stay. Yep. And so we're off. We're going to stop at a couple of places along the way, like we said, and maybe do a little nature-y sightseeing. We'll see if the weather holds out. And... We hear that Iowa's best burger oh, is in yeah. a little town near where we're staying. So we're going to check that out too. our first destination. This is a Freedom Rock that is in Dundee, Iowa. Yep, which is in Delaware County. Mm -hmm. There's a Freedom Rock in almost every county in our state, so this is something we're setting out to try to accomplish, to see as many of them as we can. Yep. So there's a million butterflies here too, which is yeah. the craziest thing. There I mean, are butterflies everywhere. Everywhere. So we're going to show you what this is all about. Like we said, that there is a Freedom Rock um, in almost every county. Uh, the goal is every county, and they're still trying to get like three, I think, three counties out of 99. Um, so, this is the rock in Delaware County. And it's to honor our service members and also police and fire. Go around, each one is painted differently. So kind of hard to read here, but let's see if I can get in close. Thank you for your service. And then over here it says Delaware County. So this is stop number one. Next, we hear that Iowa's best burger is very close to where we're staying and where we are now. So as soon as we heard that, we figured we have to give it a try, right? I mean, we have yep. to. Next stop. So we're going to try to find the restaurant and uh, we'll check it out. It's called Bambino's. Mm -hmm. Hitting the road again. I don't know if you guys can see this. But there are butterflies everywhere. They're on the road. They're on the shoulder of the road. Crazy.
so we made it to almost our destination. <laughs> sort of. Was... Our next destination. We're at the restaurant that we told you about. So uh, we thought we were closer than what we were. That was actually a little bit of a drive, but nice drive. Not bad. Yeah, a little windy and trees. And... Yeah. So it's almost five o'clock and uh, we're gonna go inside and I'm not sure how much we're gonna film in there. This is a small town and uh, you know, I don't, we, we haven't decided if we're gonna get it to go because we're camping. We're also anxious to get to, to the our campsite destination yeah. and get it set up and everything. So we, we don't know what to expect. We'll definitely show you the food, whether we eat it inside or you know, take it along. But Iowa's best burger. Let's see, Bambinos, what you got? I'm hungry, so they better deliver. I mean, you know, not deliver, but <laughs> you know what I mean. All right, guys, we finished our burger. Yeah, so Iowa's best burger. It was a really good burger, I'll yep. give them that. And like we talked about, John and I talked about, um, it was all about the meat. It wasn't the most creative or, how would you say it? Like it's... Yeah, I mean, it was it was like a basic burger, but the meat was really good. That's yeah. what, in, in the Iowa Best Burger, that award uh, is given out by the Iowa Beef Council. So right. I'm sure it's all about the meat. Yeah, so. they don't want you covering it up. It was a cheeseburger. It had onion, lettuce, tomato, pickles, mind it. Pickles. Had pickles. Yeah, Jack I didn't get pickles for some reason. And then uh, crinkle cut fries, which are some of my favorites. I told John when we were sitting there, and it's true. Why is it that when you get fries or chips at a restaurant, they seem to last forever? Like the heat stays. Right. If you go and get fast food fries, gone by the time you're out of the parking lot. Maybe it's the size of the fries. Like the size of the fries. Maybe. Did you hear that? Maybe. You know, like uh, McDonald's has those little thinny fries. So I don't know. So we're in a hurry now. We have to scoot into Walmart really super fast and then next we'll be at our campsite.
made it. John's going to give you a quick little tour around and then we need to hurry up and set up. We're going to give you a full tour of the outside and where we're staying and all of that. Yeah, it's a pretty nice area. Um, it's hot in here right now, so I'm hoping that I turn the fan on. You can probably hear that, but hopefully it'll cool down. Uh, it's getting towards evening, so of course that's going to make things cool down a little bit more. Um, we might be able to open some windows. So Yeah, but we want to show you around before we bring all of our stuff in, so let's do that right now so we can get all set up. Laura's in the driver's seat. That's right. This is a school bus that's been converted. Sit down and stay in your seats, man. <laughs> we got the school bus door. Yeah. Yeah, opens up. Everybody's always wanted to use that little handle on the door to open it. That's right. Um, yeah, so there's our neighbors right out there, if you can see them. This is a view of the place. So the right side has these kitchen cabinets which hopefully has everything that we need. Uh, there's a stove, a three burner stove, and an oven, which I don't see us using. It's got a little cutting board on top right now. There's a little mini fridge and a sink. And then on the other side, uh, that's an air conditioner that we're gonna eventually fire up here, especially for sleeping at night. Um, and it's got a television and then this little sectional type couch. We got some decor, a little wood on the ceiling. And we got to step over this wheel well right here. There is a shower and a toilet that's a compost toilet. But we were told when we were halfway here that the compost toilet is not working. Um, in the back, uh, we've got a bed. And that's about it, some lights. It's a small place, but uh, not exactly roughing it in a tent. So, um, yeah, we slept in this bus last night. Um, we did have an AC that ran off of a generator, so that was really nice to cool it down before we went to bed. But then um, I still couldn't sleep. It wasn't because the bed wasn't comfortable. I think the bed was pretty comfortable. Yeah. Um, but um, I don't know. I just couldn't sleep. And then I heard the generator run out of fuel, 
and turned off and the AC turned off, but it wasn't bad. I mean, the temperature was still good. Um, so we are in a very, uh, shaded area. So it was very hot yesterday. I want to say it was like in the nineties. And yeah. so it was really warm when we got here and uncomfortable to be on the bus. But, uh, then when the sun went down, it was, I mean, it was still humid, and we needed to run the air for a while, but once it went off, I was, yeah, I was worried that if it ran out, we would be uncomfortable. I wasn't at all. I slept like a rock. I was really tired, which is a good thing, because sometimes I have trouble sleeping, so probably a good thing I was dead tired. I didn't have any trouble at all. Yeah. Yeah, you were sleeping good. Um, yeah, the one really problem is uh with this place is that you know being a school bus i'm sure it's hard to put screens up on the windows because it really isn't conducive for that but it really is necessary because at night you're in here with the lights on and stuff and yeah that's if you got the windows open then you know all the bugs come in there is a nice exhaust fan in the roof and so uh, we like to have that on and then it draws the cool air in which is fine right now but yeah, later when <laughs> when we have the lights on, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a bug light. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, we haven't. I guess we got up at around 7:30, and it's a couple hours later than that. We have uh, we had little donuts for breakfast. We brought stuff to make breakfast, and we probably I don't know if we're gonna make breakfast today or skip to lunch or just snack or whatever. But we need to get something in our stomach, probably more than donuts, before too long. Yeah. And we're gonna go fishing. Yay. Lunch time. Lunch time. I'm having a roast beef sandwich. I'm having ham. <laughs> Laura's got ham. Um, yeah, we went out. I did a little fishing. Didn't catch anything, but it was nice and peaceful. We were right on the river. Oh, show them what's here. I'll hold you lunch. Go show them out the front window. Oh. Perfect timing. If we can see, if you can see, there's some paddle boarders out there. There we go, that's a little better. So this is our view pretty much all day.
campsite. We are set up to do a little art. A little painting. We brought a bunch of paints, some canvases. Feeling a little inspired out here in this beautiful area. Dinner is served. We've got some instant mashed potatoes, some corn, and ribeyes. So yum, yum, yum. Can't wait to eat this. Starving, starving. We were in the sun. We were painting. We're both kind of tired, but we're gonna eat dinner, and then we're gonna go out and make some s'mores. So no real camping trip is complete <laughs> without what we're about to do. Am I that's, right? that's right. That's right. <laughs> so here's the thing. We've been wanting to make these for a while and we did not invent these. I, no, I feel like, no. you know, several other people are doing this, but these are French stripe cookies. Ours are from Aldi, but certainly you can use the Keebler ones, use whatever cookie you want. Yeah. I've seen people do s'mores with, um, the Girl Scout cookies, the yeah. Caramel Delights. I've I think seen, she likes Chips Ahoy too. Yeah, a couple different things. So um, we have not done that. We've always been graham cracker, chocolate, you know, traditional. Yeah, traditional. But John doesn't love that so much, the big hunk of chocolate and whatever. Yeah. So we're going to see uh, what he thinks of this. And then we have regular marshmallows, just whatever brand, but also these stuffed puffs which have been all the rage. I mean, all during the global unpleasantness. <laughs> you saw these everywhere. I tell you what, this view is amazing. There's our little bus, there's the view. Here's our fire. We're uh, parked next to some river rats if you can hear them they're having a good time that's okay but we may have to edit some of the <laughs> language <laughs> okay all right so here they are which one's which uh, this one is the puffs with the chocolate inside Okay, this you, is just regular marshmallow. Do you want to try it and tell him what? He's already taken a bite. Yeah. We're doing shorts Ooh. or TikToks of these two, but. This is sticky, sticky. Cutting off half your head. Ah. So tell him what you told me. You. I like both the regular um, marshmallow without the stuff, uh, the chocolate stuffing in it. 
Um, but the chocolate inside that stuffed puff is so good. So you like them both redder? <laughs> Cannot talk. It's late and I'm tired. Uh, you like both of them better than regular traditional s'mores. Yes. But you like the stuffed puffs with the extra little chocolate in the middle of the marshmallow oh, better than good. regular. Yeah, that's really good. But, you know, there's a cost difference. I want to say those stuffed puffs were three something. Yeah, and I think a dollar something for the... Yeah, regular. for regular marshmallows. Yeah, and so. the regular is just is good. It just seems like more plain. Yeah. Anyway, there are so many trending marshmallows right now that we probably are not going to try unless we can think of a recipe. We might make some like rice cereal treats or something like that with some of them. There are Swedish fish marshmallows. We just saw Lucky Charms. There's yeah. like a, all kinds of a million apple. different marshmallows. Yeah. Yeah, all kinds of different flavoring. Yeah, so I don't know that we'll be making any m s'mores with any of those, but right. maybe a maybe a crispy treat and see what we think, yeah, and maybe. or a cereal treat. Anyway, so tomorrow we leave here. We had our steak dinner tonight. I'm gonna flip around and show you current situation. We kind of moved in over there. I mean, when you go on a road trip and you're going camping, you don't know what all they're gonna have. So we kind of brought. A lot of our own things. Everything. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of that's like food and snacks. And, you know, to be honest with you, we had some high hopes. I'll just kind of show you around while we're sitting here. Uh, we had high hopes that maybe we would have an opportunity to film too while we were here. So we brought some products that we've picked up lately that we were hoping to do videos of. And to tell you the truth, it's been so hot yeah. and so ridiculous. So we would have. Um, I don't know. We would have struggled. The only good place that we could have done this with was out at the picnic table, and it was just too hot. And, I mean, to be honest with you, we kind of just, once we got here, like, we thought we might do it before we left. Once we got here, we thought, nah, let's just... We had Let's some, just relax. Yeah, we had some videos, as you know, you know, that we had ready to come out while we were gone. We kind of stockpiled a few, and we thought, we'll make some nature-y kind of videos. We did some painting and, you know, some different kind of videos while we're here. We'll save the trying food for when, when we get home, which, check out, is 10 a.m. Yeah, we'll have to get up and get moving tomorrow. Yeah, this morning we were up at 7.30 because... You know, the sun shines <laughs> brightly through these <laughs> windows, and it was pretty uncomfortable at times last night. I don't know. Um, I slept all right, but I think you were more uncomfortable than I was. Yeah, I mean, I was comfortable. I think the bed was comfortable and everything. I just couldn't really s sleep. Yeah, so anyway, we'll be up early tomorrow, pack all this up, and head out. Sunday morning fill up. <laughs> yep. We have to get gas for the truck and gas for us. Yeah, we're all packed up um, and on the road. So I just got a little breakfast sandwich from the gas station. Sausage, egg, and cheese. Yep, croissant. Little gas station sandwich. I have to be in the really right mood for breakfast, but they do have hot dogs and all kinds of other stuff. These are cheese filled breadsticks. That kind of sounded me and then they had iced shortbread and you know how much we love shortbread yeah and sugar cookies so this is like a hybrid so yum 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 and then we both got a soda and we've got about a three hour drive to get home but a couple of stops and of course we're gonna take you up Stop number one on the return trip, the Winnesheek County Freedom Rock. We've been going around, uh, like, kind of touring some of the Iowa Freedom Rocks. Um, this is the one in Winnesheek County. Um, they're basically to, like, honor our freedom, honor our veterans. Um, 
We've got some, um, it looks like Native Americans on this rock. Uh, Lots but, of flags at this, um, at this one. They have flags for different uh, military. They have, um, yeah, the like fire and police flags too. Yep. Law enforcement. So, anyway, we are going to do a little short and show you the whole thing and and whatever else. But if you're interested, these are all throughout our state. Every county has one except for a couple he's trying to yeah. finish up. Yep. Eventually, they'll be everywhere. And they're all completely different. This one is much, much bigger than the last one we were at. Yeah. Kind of interesting, all oh, these railroad ties. Just on the side, they must have just done some maintenance, but the tracks are right here. So it's pretty cool. This is in Kalmar, Iowa, in Winnesheek County. And a memorial. A cool little bike statue. All right, so we are making our way home, like we said. It's about, I don't know, a little bit after 11 on Sunday. And we've talked to you about our state being the home of lots and lots and lots of corn and bean farmers. And so that's what you're seeing in the fields. Corn and beans, usually. Yeah. Uh, so. We are making a couple of stops on the way home, but uh, we weren't sure if we were going to stop and eat someplace interesting or someplace different, but I think we're kind of of the mindset of let's get home at this point. Yeah, we're kind of grubby. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, so on the way up, we had stars in our eyes a little bit about this trip, and, um, you know, we thought, well, there's a shower on the bus, and there's um, a bathroom on the bus and that didn't end up being the case when we got there uh, so we've been using porta potties and haven't showered and so we don't really feel like people seeing us at the moment or yeah. you know going into a restaurant we're kind of anxious to get home also we have a lot of young plants that need to be watered we've been away from them I'm sure our kitty cat misses us too so, miss him. Yeah, we definitely miss him when we travel from him. All right, so we were stopping uh, to kind of look at the world's smallest church. Um, it holds like eight people inside, uh, but they're all set up there having church service outside, and there's a bunch of people, so we really don't feel comfortable doing that, but that's what it looks like. It is teeny tiny. Zoom in. All right, now we've made it to Fayette, Iowa. Here is the Fayette County Freedom Rock. Upper Iowa's recruits of Company C.